This is the ultimate truth. Teenagers in the country of Nigeria are way more fit in shape than these teenagers in the country of USA, UK, and Canada combined. These are all facts, so family. And the reason why, because look, the, the, the things that go on in the country of UK, Canada, and USA, it caused a lot of teenagers to occupy themselves with, uh, you know, technology for the wrong fucking reasons. And they don't even like use technology to like do all this athletic things that these teenagers in the country of Nigeria do. Because if you look at teenagers in Nigeria, they are so athletically in shape. You would think that they are some Olympic adults with how in shape they are in Nigeria. It, it's like it's it, it's like freaking bad, yo. Like these teenagers in USA, especially these so-called um, Southerners, these teenagers that will label themselves Southerners in the, in the country of USA, so out of shape, unhealthy, looking like pigs, looking like whales, and they are fucking teenagers, man. Like, <laughs> like there's literally people in the country of Congo, the country of Ghana. There's literally like individuals that's like in in their seventies. And like so athletically in shape in, in Congo and Ghana than some teenagers in the southern states of USA. It's sad, yo. Like, it's fucked up, man. And then on top of that, the main the main countries that commit the most gluttony of overeating, over drinking, drinking alcohol, smoking a lot, it's always USA. It's always UK, always Canada, man. The, these fucking Western countries. Built off of patriotism. Like, come on, man. You don't see individuals commit gluttony in Ghana, Congo, Senegal, Nigeria. You don't see it, soul family. You don't see it. You don't see it. D this patriotism, Western countries like USA, UK, Canada. It is the main reason why teenagers are so full of health diseases. Going to the damn crooked ass doctors that poison them, man. Why you think a lot of individuals are not athletically in shape in, in the USA? You find an athletically in shape people in USA is like finding a three dollar bill. Who gives a fuck? Like, don't be fooled by these professional athletes in the NBA. NFL, they don't fucking count. They're not even real humans. They're like fucking robot drones and shit. But when we talk about actual humans, like these teenagers in USA, UK, and Canada, man, they always have health diseases in those countries, man. Everywhere you, everywhere you turn, like, it's fucking crazy, man. Like, there's literal people. There's literal people in Jamaica right now who are like, who is like 28 more physically in shape than a lot of teenagers in USA, UK, Canada. Why? Why? You don't ever see, you don't ever hear about people in Jamaica have health diseases. Because whoop de doo news flash news flash for the dumbasses in USA, dumbasses in UK, dumbasses in Canada who don't realize if you were to fucking exercise you're not going to have fucking health diseases. I don't got no health disease. Because I fucking exercise. If I never exercise a day in my life, I probably wouldn't be existing right now. I would not be existing right now. Like literally exercising, doing any type of fitness, have you live a long time. These people who be living all the way up to these human-like creatures... Who be living up all the way up to 100s and, and more than that. It's because they kept themselves in shape. Like come on. Like literally literally, fitness is, is a whole spirituality thing. But a lot of these fucking dumbass people in USA. Dumbass people in UK. Dumbass people in Canada. They don't even fucking realize this shit. They don't even fucking realize this shit man. Like it's fucking nerve wracking. And they say the individuals in USA, UK, and Canada are the most intelligent people. If they was that damn intelligent, they wouldn't be having health diseases. They will all be fucking fit. 
I guarantee you right now, go somewhere in Mississippi. A lot of teenagers got health diseases. Go somewhere in Louisiana. A lot of teenagers got health diseases, have knee problems, leg problems. They have so many fucking problems with their bones and shit. And they're only teenagers, man. Like, this shit is ridiculous, yo. Like, I guarantee you, if you were, like, I guarantee you, Soul Fine, like, if you look at a lot of people in USA, UK, and Canada, they, they probably would not be able to do jumping jacks for, like, three seconds. They wouldn't even be able to do Asian squats. And, like, if you are a human-like creature, you should be able to do Asian squats. You should be able to do it for at least 30 seconds. You should be able to do it for at least 30 seconds. But people in Nigeria, they can do Asian squats for like two minutes. People in Ghana can do Asian squats holding it for two minutes. Same in Congo. Same in Senegal. Same in Ethiopia. Same in fucking Angola. Same in fucking Trinidad. Bro, the most in shape people on this planet for what we know currently, the people in the Asian countries, Caribbeans and African countries, the most in shape people right now. Nobody in Asia got no health disease. Nobody in the African countries got health disease. Nobody in fucking Caribbeans got health disease. No, no, none. None. It's always these people in USA got health diseases. How the hell you gonna be trusting some damn crooked ass doctors who fucking poison you anyways? Over in USA, over in UK, and over in Canada. I'm the only person out of many people in these Western countries who know this shit. That fitness keeps you to live longer. And also, you're not going to have health diseases, man. Like, there's going to be a point in time I'm going to be living till I'm like 200. No health, no health problems. I'm going to be living till I'm 200. No health problems. Because I fucking kept up exercising. I literally, I literally have the fucking common sense, the, the mental capacity to realize, okay, I have a humanoid, I have a humanoid extraterrestrial body, so might as well keep it healthy. Might as well move with it, exercise with it. The fuck, man? These people in USA are fucking dumb. These people in fucking UK, Canada are just as dumb as the people in fucking USA. And the dumbest of the dumb is these damn Southerners in USA. Because everyone knows the Southerners are fucking whale-ass, pig-ass, cockroach, built-ass, looking-ass people because they don't fucking exercise. Take it how you want to take it. These people in Nigeria, none of them are overweight. We're going to talk about that in another segment about the difference between melanated people in African and Caribbean countries versus these melanated people out in out in fucking Great Britain, USA and fucking Canada, man. We're going to talk about that. 